Hello everybody, and um, today we'll be doing the 5 Five Style Challenge. Now, I am starting out with, um, with my style, although, as you just saw, I should ha I'm looking up Adventure Time, because that's like my first style. It had, uh, Adventure Time was very, kind of, prominent, my style. It inspired me a lot, in terms of how simple it was, and just kind of, a lot of, a lot of everything about it. I started over right here because um, it was too small. And I'm currently drawing my new Persona character, which is just called Skits, but it's basically just me. And as you can see, I'm mainly kind of drawing them the way I usually do. You know the issue. Um, the, I think I think my style is relatively very easy to replicate, kind of. I mean, I don't really draw that much when it comes to um, like different poses. I'm morally doing idle poses a lot and such, but you know, I do. I have been recently working on a lot more walking poses and such. So, because in the animation I want to do, um, there will be a lot of walking. Yes. This character doesn't really have much of a story. He, they're just there mostly for the plop in the situations and animations if I want to. And as you can see, I'm just writing down my style. Now I'm going to do coloring, which I use a gradient, as you should see, over the line art. Which is very painful. Of course, as of the time I was recording the audio, I've gotten used to it, but... This character was real. This is about my second, third time drawing the character as of this recording. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, I give them button eyes because they're actually mostly inspired by Coraline and an artist I, um, that watched me on, on Twitter and I just kind of grew to love their art. Now, I should be starting on Adventure Time and. This one basically turned out my favorite out of all of them, because Adventure Time has such a wide variety of body types and characters. I could basically plop any of them together to get mine, and I chose to use Flame Princess, which is my favorite character. Um, I made the eyes much more widened, and I also disregarded the buttons, since I don't think Adventure Time would have those button eyes. Morally, just bigger dots, so... I also decided that the stitches would be gone for the same reason. I also, when using Flame Princess' body, I used their arm, and <laughs> the funny thing is, is I actually, because they do have fingers, but they're super small, I actually made fingers, but they're so small you can't see them. Anyway, so back to um, whatever I was talking about before this. It would also, this show kind of, I used to watch it all the time. I love how simple it was, too. It wasn't... When it came to replicating it, I kind of had to dig it a little deep. And, um, for the hair, I just had to take reference from Marceline, and if there's anything on this style that I think I might have messed up, it might have been the hair. Because when it comes to hair, I basically only know whatever I do, and then everyone else's is kind of variations to that in my mind. Ugh. I was actually very surprised that most of the styles I use are actually very kind of black lined base. Later after this video goes up I think I might do a live stream or I may not. Depends. Um, I decided Later in the video, I will change the color of this, but as of now, you kind of have to wait for that part. Here. Ooh, it's so early in the morning. Um, I tried out regular show, and it was surprisingly hard, because regular show does not exactly have that much of reference to go on, since a lot of the main characters are not human. So I had to try to go off of Ben's, I think his name is, I forgot his name. I tried to give it off Eve's and set by that, and I went off some smile characters, but... The hair I could never really get a full grip on. 
And as I said, it was very hard to find any references, so it didn't work, actually. And as you can see here, I'm just getting rid of it all. And after that, I start on Gravity Falls. This show I actually did watch. A lot of it, but not exactly as much as Adventure Time regular show. Um, I just said that I gave him a little pattern. <laughs> okay. I actually touched up the stitches in the, in the doll part of him because I think um, it'd be the kind of time to show to um, show that they're more of a doll. And I made their head circle because the, to like, show them even further that it isn't human, it's more of a doll. Kinda. I said, take a shot every time I said the word doll in this video. Um, I, I based them mostly off of Wendy and Dipper. Other two characters I based this mostly off of. And I don't know about the eyes. This one I think would be the one I'm least proud of. Because it mostly, you character mostly, if you want to actually change anything about like the head shape because your character is a doll. I just why they sent the art on servers. They kind of mentioned Gravity Falls and the head shape's wrong, but... Yeah, I meant to do that. Oh god, I'm yawning so much. Um, the hands are very strange in this show. I was never able to really get a kind of solidified way of how the hands act. I don't know if that's a mistake in the show's part or if that's a good thing. But, yeah. That's upsetting it right there. And I think. Think. Yeah, here I am. I'm changing the color to make it a bit more lighter. Since it mostly makes sense for it to be much lighter than the other ones, since as it is basically a more lighter tone show, and I made Gravity Falls a little darker, kind of desaturated, because I think Gravity Falls is all about like warm, desaturated colors, kind of light grays in a way. Next, I'm gonna do 1930 style and. What better modern way than the? What better modern way than Cuphead? Um, I'm aware that if I want to perfectly imitate the style, I will have to get a pad of paper for it. But yeah, this one I think would be second most proud of. A lot of people who are kind of experts in rubber hose styles say that it's kind of really off, like the eyes are stretchy. But I kind of. I kind of like it as a general art piece, but as a rubber hose style, I don't think it's very good. Um, I used mostly the sharp edged shapes for him since they are me and I'm a kind of a very energetic kind of person. You can tell by how much I'm yawning this video. Oh god, Jesus. Uh, who's yawning in there? Alright, so. I, I thought about using like different shades of grey, I think, but I also decided it again since my character is mostly unified. <sighs> um, this style is mainly about like, exaggeration, so I felt like it, I don't feel like I exaggerated him enough because this style is exactly an exaggeration and kind of just stretching. I thought you guys know here is a um, I kept, I actually colored um, Gravity Falls styles, same color, so I made it a desaturated, a uh, super dark and saturated green as the style for Gravity Falls' buttons. And after that, I will make the, I'm doing a pause because I actually don't remember, Invader Zim style. Um, I only have ever seen one style of Invader Zim, I've only ever seen one episode of Invader Zim, I don't even remember it that much. But, um, the art style always stuck with me. I always liked how kind of angular it was, and just how it little, just how it had, just how everything it was could never work as a human. This one probably is the one I'm second least proud of, because it does kind of look weird. I tried doing it for a more original one, since I see a lot of people in... Um, art style challenges to take a character and just reskin it to be theirs, but um, I tried to do something different by giving him more 
longer head than the others, and I think it kind of worked out, but I'm not sure. Um, I think I made the arms too, uh, I think I made the arms a bit too short, since, um, my character, but my character is five foot at the same, so, I don't know, maybe, it's a good thing it's kind of short, but I'm not sure. Um, if I could change anything about it back now, I think I would change the fact that there'd be way more stitches. Like, there'd be staples, kinda, cause... It seems like a, it's, that seems like a show that would even more exaggerate the idea that it's, um... Not a thing. I used another saturated... It's not a human. I used another saturated green for it, and I used kind of a very... Pale... Um, purple that I think would be close. I think it's closer to green, kinda. And as you can see, there we have it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I'll basically think I'll have a live stream after this. And see ya.